When you first get Love at Dashboard, tap I'm ready. You can then sign in or create an account if you don't have one already. Next, choose a name that your team will use to identify you. Then search for your team or indicate if you're not on one. If your team has already been registered by your scouting lead, ask them for your team code and enter it here. If your team isn't registered with Love It yet, tap Just Looking Around, or if you're a scouting lead and want to register your team, check out the video in the description to learn how to do so. Once you've done that, you'll have three options about where you want your data to come from, either only from the team that you're affiliated with, all teams, or specific teams. You'll then be taken to a page where you will select the tournament that you want your data to come from. After that, you can choose the tournament you're at, or if you're not at one. If you have a tournament selected, the app will open to the match schedule page. You can see all of the matches or filter them by if a match is scouted or contains a specific team. Additionally, if you're on a team, you can see who's scouted and who's scheduled to scout each match. If you want more information about any team, you can tap on their team number to get to the team lookup page. There are three components to the team lookup page, category metrics, breakdowns, and notes. Breakdowns show you the percent of matches for which the team has performed each action out of all the recorded matches in your dataset. On the category metrics tab, you can see plenty of averages and statistics like driver ability, total score, and amp scores. You can tap on a category and swipe between the tabs for more details about each metric. Most tabs will have a spark line in comparison to the average for all teams. The only exception to this is Auto Paths, where you can view each path recorded for the team. Auto Paths have a list of all the points they have scored each time it has been run, and you can tap Play to view it as an animation. Each match in the Match Schedule page has a brand icon. Tapping this will take you to the Match Predictor page. Here, you can see the predicted chance of each alliance winning, total score of each alliance, the dominant role of each robot, speaker scores, and amp scores. You can also tap the blue or red alliance colors to open the alliance page. Here, you can find most of the things you could on the match predictor page, as well as an autopath visualizer where you can mix and match autopaths from all three teams and play an animation of them all together. If you open the drawer by tapping the menu icon or swiping from the left edge, you can put in custom teams for each of these pages, uh, or another page here is the picklist page where you can see the picklist that you have already made on your device. You can tap the plus to make a new picklist. This will bring you to a screen with many sliders. Slide each of the sliders to your desired weight for that metric. For example, if you want a team with many AMP scores uh, you would move that slider farther right, and if you care less about driver ability, you would move that slider farther left. You can tap to share your pick list with everyone on the team. To manually arrange the teams, convert your shared pick list to a mutable pick list by tapping the icon in the upper right. You can also use the QR code scanner to upload a scout report from Levitt Collection from anyone on your team to upload their data in the event that they aren't able to connect to the internet. You can also tap the settings icon to update your team and tournament source, as well as the tournament you are at. You can also reset the app or delete your account at the bottom. If you're interested in learning more about the math that we use for predictions or pick lists, check out the link to our white paper from last year in the description.